Hey guys, Mohan Paberi here, and in this video I want to tell you why you should never start a business. At least until you end watching this video. So yeah, if you like this type of content, subscribe. I promise you won't regret it. I'm talking all about how I'm buying businesses, growing businesses, the process. Um, if you like TV show like The Profit, Chart Tank, this is pretty much what we do for a living. But I'm going to show you uh, my life, my day to day and uh, help you with everything I can and document my journey as far as, as being in business and, and growing businesses. Um, so yeah, subscribe, let me know what you think and let's get to the content of this video. So to begin with, I just want to start with the fact that all the books, uh, seminars, courses, gurus, mentors out there, like 99% of the people that I see out there are talking about how to start a business, um, starting a startup basically. And what I want to emphasize is the fact that and again, I don't care what what type of business, what the what's the process, or, or anything like that, or what's even the, the track record of that person who's teaching about uh, starting a business. The facts are, ninety nine percent of businesses are going to fail within their first five years. Now, even those who succeed in those first five years are going to fail in the next five years. So, those are just the stats. That's you know, I'm just being objective. I'm not being being pessimist. It's just most businesses are going to fail. Period. Now the question is, and, and let me give you an example. So I have friends in the venture capital world who are investing in, in startups. And I'm also investing in a few uh, startups and uh, especially now in the crypto space in ICOs and I see them as startups. The thing with those type of investments, and I see it with good friends of mine who are partners in, in venture capital firms, they have access to lots of capital. They can invest in businesses and, and really help them grow. They know in advance that nine out of 10 businesses that they will invest in will fail. They come with that perspective. They are okay with that. Why? Because they know that one business, if they did that due diligence right, they know that one business have the potential to give them thousand times returns on their money, which will basically cover the losses on all the others. Now, it's all good when you're coming from an investor point of view. My question is, why would you want to compete as a, an entrepreneur, someone who's looking to start a business on that one out of 10 percentage? That's my only question. And it's a bit sad and frustrating that people sell dreams on starting a business and making millions or even six figure in profit in, in 60, 90 days. When you start a business, it's really, really, really hard just because you don't have track record, you don't have experience, you don't know anyone in that sector probably. And getting to a point where people now trust you, your product, your business, your brand is just really hard as, a, as a, someone who's just starting. Here, here are a few things that I, I don't appreciate and respect in, in that place. First of all, when you start a business from day one, you're not making money. I don't care what type of business, maybe if you get, you can tell me, hey, if, I'm, if I have a service type business, I'm making money from day one. Well, it depends how long it took you to get that client, how long it took you to invest, to bring in that lead and potential customer. But either way, Let's say here are a few things I don't like in a startup. First of all, you don't get paid on day one. Um, secondly, if you want to grow, you need to bring in employees, train the employees, all their benefits, all those little things that you need to take care of as a new entrepreneur, as a new business owner. And also the fact that in a new business, most of the time you need to invest much more money than you think you need. Um, just by the fact that what you think you need for working capital in order to grow the business, many times you need at least five times more or even 10 times, obviously it depends on the business, the, the type of uh, sector and all that. But most of the people that I see start to try to get into new businesses, they invest much more money than they thought they're going to invest. Now, why, why do I even say all those things? The only reason I'm, I'm really emphasizing on those, I guess, downer points is that people just don't know that you can buy an existing business with probably the same amount of money that it will take you to start a business. Now, not only that, when you buy a business, let's say you have an amount of capital where you decide, hey, I wanna put that capital into starting a business, you can take that capital and buy existing business and also use that capital to leverage that capital and the business that you're looking to buy, leverage their assets and buy with 100,000, a million dollar business if you know how to leverage things right. So it's just frustrating to me and that's why I'm trying to put now all those videos to show people that there's another way to do things, you don't have to start business from scratch. You can decide, hey, I want to get into this sector, but instead of starting, I can just go into buying an existing business that's already in that sector, already making money, already have track record, experience, clients, um, people know you, people trust you, and you're making money from day one. I think that's the biggest thing. 
when you buy an existing business, you can literally buy the business. Let's say you finished all the documents, you signed all the agreements, right? You're the owner of the business. You can take money and income, salary, uh, dividends, whatever, obviously depends on what your tax situation is and how you want to structure things, but you can take money out from day one. With a startup, it's really, really hard to get to a point where you can take that money from day one, especially if you want to grow that business. I mean, most of the time in a startup, you want to put the money back. You don't have structures. Your business is really small. It's making maybe a few thousand dollars. It's not really a business because you need to be there. It's basically you having a, a job where you need to work a lot in it. And a legit business is something that bring in you money if you're there or not. And again, obviously it depends on your goals. Like. I do appreciate and respect people who want to change the world, who have really unique ideas like, I don't know, Facebook and Snapchat and businesses that no one ever had. And if you're that person and you want to be that unicorn and you want to really change the world and that's what you care, you legitly care about impacting the world and changing the world for the better with your idea and business, by all means, go for it. But based on what I see, most people who want to get into business, they want to get into business for the lifestyle, for the income. And for, I guess, being their own boss. That's, those are the main reasons that I see. I think 90 plus percent of people are in business because of the lifestyle, the growth opportunity, just being a boss and obviously the, the income opportunity and, and just the opportunities you have and you're your own boss, you, just, you can just make more money, no doubt about that. Um, you just have the option to scale. My problem is that people are into the, the idea that they want to change their words because they think that's the only way to make legitimately good money and build wealth. So they're just going to the startup route, they're trying to raise capital, which is frustrating and hard by itself. Um, and again, most startups will fail um, for all the reasons that we talked about. Now you're probably asking, hey, you're looking to buy a business, why? There, there's no risk in buying businesses? Well, obviously there is a risk, but you need to find your the good deals. If, if you find the right deals, there's not much risk because for us, we're looking for businesses and I'm talking about it in other videos with baby boomers, people who are looking to retire and both of those businesses exist for five, 10, 20 years sometimes and they grow slowly, mostly by word of mouth. So the product is really good and just grow slowly every year and the cash flow is very sustainable, very, um, there, there's, so, there's so good fundamentals in those businesses that exist for five, 10, 20 years and you get in there, the cash flow is very, very stable and yes, the business can go down, but your chances of going down and, and destroying that business that's already existing for 5, 20 years, um, it's it just so low compared to starting something from scratch, something new, something that no one ever heard about you. Many times I see people who try to get into businesses that really got technologies involved in them, which means you're really dependent on new technology and those technologies can change a lot. Uh, that's why the businesses that we're looking to buy with my company right now are mostly businesses that are just m many times it's kind of like brick and mortar businesses just because the changes there are much more slow and takes time uh, instead of just for example in the, the online space and technology businesses like the technology change so fast and that's why I guess the the opportunity to scale really fast but then you can really um, I guess go down really fast as well. And, and don't get me wrong, there's a process to, to both, right? You need to learn in order to be successful at either buying a business or starting a business. But as long as you, you work on that, then you're good. I mean, yes, when you want to buy a business, you need to learn how to find the deal, how to negotiate the deal, how to look at numbers and make offers, how to raise capital, how to then make sure you have the right team to do due diligence for you and, and making sure everything is structured right. That's a process you need to learn, no doubt. But you need to learn a process when you start a business as well. You need to learn how to how to get leads, how to sell to a client, how to obviously learn about your industry and your product and making sure your product is good. So there's lots of things you need to learn in either path you're going to decide to take. Uh, but in my opinion, just the, the benefit and the upsides from buying a business can be so, so big compared to starting a startup. Then, and, and just the fact that for most people that I know, uh, people who are not financially free yet, buying one business can change their life. That's all they need, one deal. And with the, starting a business, the, the chances of you becoming really, really successful with it and, and make, becoming financially free with that business is, is just so hard compared to buying one. Because when you start a business, again, the stats are against you. So yeah, people tell me, so it might take me a few years, that's okay. Uh, but the chances are, are also really high to fail. When you buy a business, it might take you some time to buy that business. But my question to you is, 
how long are you willing to wait and learn a skill in order for you to become pretty much financially free after one deal if you buy the right deal. So even if it's going to take you a few months, a year, I mean, heck, three years to buy one good business that can change your life, wouldn't you be willing to spend that time to be really focused on learning that skill set, which uh, again, in my opinion, it's the best business ever. Like you can be involved in so many sectors, industries, different people. Uh, I mean, just the, the abundance of opportunities, especially for ADD people, is, is just awesome. You can be involved in so many things at the same time and have a, a legit excuse to do that. It's like everything in life. It's a skill set you need to learn. And if you're going to put in the time, you're going to be consistent. You're going to learn one thing at a time. You're going to take action. You're going to work on the strategy. You're going to find yourself a mentor or a dream team or equity partners. Then you can do that. And when you get into existing business, there's already systems and processes in place. You just need to go there and just literally copy whatever the old owner did and, and just run that business and bring in then your creative ideas. You can even bring your thoughts about impacting the world and impacting your sector. But you're already coming to a place where you have something stable. You have your back covered because you're already making income. So you're not, you're not in a, a scarcity um, mindset where you're just waiting for your next paycheck. You have a legit constant income coming in and then you can grow it for wherever you want. Now, if you like this type of content, um, just subscribe to the channel, um, learn about this process, just see another opportunity for you to, to, to learn. Like you don't have to start businesses, you can buy businesses as well. And you know what, even if you're not buying a business, sometimes just to position yourself as an investor, as someone who's looking to buy businesses, you can learn so much about a sector just by talking to business owners because there's no one who will give you so much information about their business like you as an investor like the, the business owner is not even talking with his wife uh, the same he won't give his wife the same amount of information he will give you as the potential buyer and investor in that business so just a, an idea for you to to try is if you are not sure if you want to buy a business or to start one position yourself for just a few weeks or a few months as someone is looking to buy businesses and see what responses you get. Like you can talk to million dollar plus businesses, position yourself as a potential buyer. Obviously you need to know how to do that to, to look like someone who actually is legit. But when someone is opening the books for you on his business, you can learn everything about pretty much any business out there. And then maybe decide after you looked at the process and looked at the numbers and look at how everything works in the business, talk to the employees, and really learn that sector then maybe if you think to decide to start a business and do something better maybe do that but first see a business that's already where you want to be and talk to them first and see maybe you can just buy them instead of starting the same business from scratch that will take you five years to to get to their point if you're lucky so i want to keep this video short for those people who want to start businesses remember you're only one deal away from buying your one business that can change your life make you financially free you don't need much experience or capital to do that. You can use leverage and financial institutions or even equity investors to help you with the deal if you don't have any capital at all. Or you can just look for more deals that only require, um, I guess, asset-based lending where you use that business. So basically going to a business you're looking to buy and you use their assets as a leverage to, to finance the, the acquisition cost. Um, you don't have any risk. Obviously, you need to know how to do that to not have any personal risk. Do not sign any personal guarantees that that will risk you because i mean yes we were buying your million dollar plus businesses so you you want to make sure you you're not personally liable which is definitely doable um but yeah i just i thought i'll do this quick video because i'm just frustrated seeing all those videos and books on starting the business but no one is even mentioning the fact that you can buy a business and do just as, as good of a job and, and impact, have an impact in the world um, by buying good, good businesses, helping people who many times just want to retire and give them a great retirement opportunity and take their baby literally and, and just try to make it better and grow it uh, for them, with them, maybe even sometimes. Um, yeah, so I hope you got something from this video. Again, if you like it, just subscribe to the channel, comment below, let me know what you think in, in general. Um, about the idea to start a business, buy a business. What would you do if you had the, the option? Would you buy one or start one? And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it um, and I'll talk to you soon.